What up guys, it's Ubi DK here and today we're going to be installing a new shift knob in the BRZ with an extension. So here they are, as you can see this is a 3 inch extension and then a sh this shift knob it's a whatever brand that is. Okay so this setup right here literally cost me 20 bucks off of Amazon and yeah so the shift knob comes like it's a it goes for every car or whatever. So it comes with like these little threads and I've already like put this one on and then you just, you just screw it on and yeah. So right now on my car, I have the flossy shift knob and I'm kind of tired of it having low. So I want to have a taller shift knob and see how that feels. So yeah, let's get to it. All right guys, so we're in the car now. And so this is the shift knob I have right now. That cost me like a hundred bucks. I'm not getting rid of that. I just want to try something new so you can see how much taller this will be. As you can tell, this red does not match that. It actually matches this, sort of. Does not match that at all. So yeah, that's not good, but it doesn't really matter for me right now. I just kind of want to switch it up and see what it feels like. Yeah, so here's a comparison of a hundred dollars right here and twenty dollars setup right here so this is honestly I should have went this route first instead of going for that because back then I really didn't have any money and I spent a hundred bucks on that yep yeah so we're just gonna unscrew it right here Jesus That's... as you can tell this one's so much heavier than the other one. So we'll see how that feels. I'm not gonna undo the nut. Or maybe I should. I don't know. How long is this? Yeah, I'll just undo it. I don't really wanna undo it because if I do, then it's like hard to get the, if I put the back the other one, it's not gonna, um, all the lettering and stuff isn't gonna line up, but whatever. This feels kind of ricer, but it's better than the dildo shift knobs that some people have. Yeah, it's pretty tall. So we'll see how it goes. Let's go for a drive and I'll give you guys a comparison and tell you how it feels. All right guys, so since this is a pretty short video, I'm not putting on my mic or anything. The f already the first thing I can notice since this is pretty long is um this is kind of weird where you have to do it in reverse it feels kind of weird but that's just something you get used to my way or anything because with it being so long you know 
driven a WRX, their gears feel really, um, really rubbery. And this is what that feels like right now. you guys enjoy the video maybe it'll influence you guys to get the shift knob too and all right peace